everyone. Well, it's another unboxing today and a bit of an unusual one in the fact you're seeing this only a day after I unbox the vacuum. It's August the 10th, 2017. I've had this a few days. I thought I'd better get it unboxed, see if there's anything wrong with it. But also, I'm using this video as a little opportunity to give you an update on what's going on on my channel and to give you a heads up that I may be taking a little bit of a semi break. Now what I mean by semi break I won't disappear altogether but maybe for the next month you may only see one video a week from me. Nothing wrong, I just need to sort out a lot of things at home. Um, I have to decorate my kitchen, we're getting a new floor put in. There's so much I need to sort out as well. So, there will be no more, you know, I'm, I'm saying, there might just be one video a week. So, just to let you know, but also, there will be something exciting, hopefully, coming. There is a new Shark vacuum cleaner due very soon, and hopefully I'll be getting one, so you'll be definitely seeing that soon. And there'll be a new demo. I mean, I'm hoping to find time to do a few demos. Yeah. But, um, as I said, it might just be on a Friday and there may be just one video a week on my other channel Rogers Bits and Doings. If you want to check out the latest video for my channel there will be a link somewhere in this video. I think the latest video I've done is unboxing a very very expensive iMac computer. Right this vacuum, back to the vacuum, this is an ETA or ETA, I don't know if you say it's an ETA or if you pronounce it ETA, I don't know. But anyway, some free newspaper shreddings. And some more. At least it's in a nice bag, isn't it? It's not, not going to create too much mess for me. This will clean up quite well, I think. I've no idea anything about this. It was another impulse purchase. They're not bad condition. Plastic. This is a budget cleaner. I saw these sort of cleaners in the Argos catalogues. And uh, I don't know if this is sort of a, a late 80s, 90s vac. It's probably a 90s vacuum, possibly. Uh, if you know anything about it when I get it out, please comment below in the comments section. Two tubes. Two soups. Um, Look though, oh I've got bags, lots of bags and instructions, great. Look at this, wow. Oh, I'm not going to be stuck for bags. In fact, I don't think I'm going to live, in, live long enough to use all the bags in this vacuum. So we've got one pack of probably five. One, two, three, four, five. Once I call official live, uh, I think it's five in a pack. Five, ten, fifteen. Oh, and look. Ooh, they're re oh, they're are they reusable? I don't think they're supposed to be. No, somebody's put a clip on there, but they're not supposed to be reusable because these open ones and they look like they're just single walled bags. No, non reusable. Let's have a look. Yes, just a single walled paper bag. They won't uh, do very well with fine dust. Oh, of course, it's no auto, auto cord rewind. Right, oh, it feels a bit cheap now. Yes, it was an impulse buy. Um, I think it was fourteen ninety nine or something. But I, I liked it because it was in pretty good condition. I mean, that's... Uh, Judging by, there's no wear on the end of that crevice tool. And there's a little bit of dust on this, but it could just be 
storage. That's yeah, sort of upholstery nozzle, a bit different shaped, certainly unusual. And ah, oh, well, this is showing use, but it's not bad. It's a bit a tiny, bit dirty, but it's not rusty. Not metal sole plate on that. And it's a, I don't know how you pronounce it, I always get it wrong. I think it's a Wiesel, Wieselwerk, 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 one of them, you know, make the nozzles for Milo and Sibo, etc. Could be one of those. Uh, I'm not sure though. Mm. Perhaps, is that original, do you think? It doesn't act quite match. It's black and the other bits are grey, so I'm not sure. It could have been how it was. This company might have not uh, minded. Yeah, that's one end. And the hose actually is a, is not a bad length. It's, uh, it's It looks like it's a bit over 1.5. It's probably knocking on for a two meter hose. And that's a bit uh, manky. Suction relief. There you are, that's that. Another bag. Hmm, what I might do with those bags, folks, well, one of them at least, is demonstrate the vacuum with one of those bags. Right, that's it. Oh no, I haven't shown you the, well, I haven't shown you the vacuum. <laughs> I haven't shown you the instruction books, look. Now I've got two. They look the same. I don't know why I've got two. Oh, but one's got a code on it. It says ETA 0405 Floor Vacuum Cleaner. They put, this, is a, this is a base model. I expect there would have been a cord rewind model and possibly even an electronic speed control version. Accessories, suction hose, suction controller, two-piece suction tube of plastics, floor nozzle, upholstery nozzle, nozzle, crevice nozzle. So it's got everything it should have. There we are. It's got a micro filter. Finishing of cleaning. Switch off the vacuum cleaner by pushing down the switch step flap by foot. Remove the supply cable plug from the socket. The cable can be wound on the recess of the rear part of vacuum cleaner and the one in the bumper on the vacuum cleaner cover. I'm not sure, are these Polish, this company? Comment below if you know. I know I've seen ETA or ETA vacuum cleaners on YouTube. I don't know if they're Polish. I don't think they're Russian. But yes, it's something I remember from Argos catalogue. Right, here it is. It's in pretty, pretty good shape. A little bit of scuffing. But, you know, paint marks will come out. I mean, it's in exceptionally good condition, isn't it? Exceptional. There is a plug on it. And it's a black plug, but it's not the moulded on plug. I don't know whether this would have had a moulded on plug or the sellers will have to cut that with a pair of scissors. So we've still got, um, I'll leave that on. We've still got a sales sticker. Economic, practical, new design, two plus one micro filter. And it's a Dynamics. One big, this feels quite, you know, the quality isn't bad. It's not, I'm sure this won't be Chinese. We'll see where this is made, if it's got a thing on it. Nothing so far. It might, yeah, you see it's recessed, sort of, to, to wrap the flex, to wrap, wrap the flex around the machine. Two wheels. <laughs> oh dear, not even a caster, just a, just a little, you know, well, it is a sort of a caster, but it doesn't move, does it? It doesn't rotate. Exhaust. Right, well, with any luck, there'll be some sort of a label inside this. So, there's a button to press here to open 
the door, to remove the door. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there's a filter. That is very clean. Look at that. I mean, I don't think that's, I, I think this has not been used much because it's very difficult to clean the inside of dust bag compartments, you know, as I'm sure Sam Watson will tell you. Anything that's ribbed like this, you really need to get it properly clean. You need to dismantle the whole thing and soak it in hot soapy water, you know, and use a brush. I don't think the seller would have bothered cleaning it up, so I just think this has had hardly any use. So, let's put that there. Let's have a look at the... Oh, and I didn't even notice that. We have a piston, oop, there, piston bag check indicator. Hmm. Don't know what that's about. That little hole there. Oh, not sure what that's for. I wonder if you put the bag, I think you must position the bag on, yes. Put it onto here, because there seems to be some sort of holder there. Um, just looking for a date wheel or any clue of anything, and there's nothing. Yeah. There's a filter in the bottom. I mean, that isn't, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit dusty, but that isn't bad, is it? And it looks like the motor, the motor's on its side. It's a bit like that Goblin 1000. The motor was positioned on its side. In fact, this may be related to that Goblin 1000. So there, that side where the gap is, that's obviously where the, uh, the filter goes. That's where the suction comes from. Pop that back. I don't know which way it was in, but I don't think it won't let me put it in one way I expect. So no, hang on, it goes that way up. That's it. So that clips into there. Let's get a bag. Right. Now then. How do you put the bag? Oh, well, I'm saying. I'm saying, folks, how do you put the bag on? I have the instructions. I have the instruction book. Oh, that's not very helpful at all. Put the vacuum, vacuum cleaner into the vertical position and release the cover. Done it. Remove the cover together with the dust bag. Release the lock hook. The dust bag falls out. Figure 12. Put a new dust bag from one side under the cover hooks and lock the other. I think, I think it goes, the collar, I think goes under there, does it? Yes, I think, push it down. Can you see, there, that's it. Close that, there we, there we are. That's definitely the right way. So there we go. With, isn't it in good condition? And that fits on nicely like that. Right then, lads and lasses. That feels a bit thin, that handle. I'm just going to have to cut the cable tie off. We'll plug this in and we'll uh, see if it works. Right, despite the fact it looks very good, I'm not taking any chances. So it's a pretty short cord. I'm going to plug it in. Um, might be off, might be on, don't know. Let's check I'm recording this, am I? Yes, I think I can see the red light. Right, it was off. Right, should turn on in a second. Doesn't sound bad, does it? For a budget vacuum. Yeah, it's a shame we can't um, 
unless I've not looked properly, I couldn't, as I say, there's no label on it, don't know the wattage, unless it says something about it in the instruction book. It tells you about wiring the plug and everything, um, but there's no specification. There's a telephone number. I don't know where this is. O O one two O two. Don't know what what code, what area that's for. No clue at all of the origin of this, where it's made. No. So it's up to you, folks. Can you fill me in on where where do you think this was made? Right, the hose attachment is just the push and twist friction fit. Oh, it does, it does swivel. Let's see if the um, piston bag check indicator works. did, couldn't see it, it did go red, but it's a bit hard to see a red indicator on a red vacuum. But yeah, it's not bad, is it? For It's a bit different. It's, I mean, it's very, I mean, you can't get much, it looks a bit Rotel, doesn't it? You remember the, the metal bodied Rotel and Spinny cleaners used to get, Spinny was a Littlewoods Group catalogue brand because Littlewoods had um, some head offices at a place called Spinny House. So if it's got Spinny on it, it would have been sold in a Littlewoods or Littlewoods owned catalogue. Littlewoods had many different catalogues, not just under the Littlewoods name. Well, it's not bad. You know, as I said, it's, uh, it's very, you know, they didn't think much about styling. I don't know though, it's not, it's very basic, but, I think I'd take this any day over a cheaper, cheapo uh, cylinder made in China. It's definitely, I mean, I can tell it's not Chinese made. I don't think they were making so much in China when this would have been in the shops. I expect two, two plus one microfilter. Hang on. I've only seen one filter. Am I missing something here, folks? No, that doesn't come out. That's odd. You'd think there'd be a filter there, wouldn't you? Oh, I'm having to check the uh, instructions. It's showing one filter. So no. Honestly, listen, it's telling you out. It's telling you about servicing the motor. <laughs> Professional inspection of the carbon brushes and possible replenishing of lubricate grease for high speed bearings into the ball bearings is recommended after 300 hours and slash or three years of operation in order to ensure a troubleless running. Replacement, spelt wrong, of parts which requires the intervention in the electric part of the appliance may be carried out only in a specialised repair, repair shop. Repair shop. Yeah, it's a little bit pidgin English, some of this. Fancy saying that, so they think this is going to run for more than 300 hours or three years because after then they suggest you lubricate the bearings. <laughs> God. Oh, you wouldn't get that sort of uh, recommendation in a Chinese made vacuum. No, after a year, if you're lucky and it blows up, go and buy another one, folks. They're cheap. And that's how it is, I'm afraid, isn't it? Whoops, I turned it on again. That's how it is with today's world. But there you go. Right, well, it's quite nicely shredded. I think they've got a cross-cut shredder. So what I'll do, pick up the big bits. This is gonna fill a bag, isn't it? Well, I don't know if it'll work. We'll soon see. See if this ETA or ETA Dynamics can pick all this up. Ah, 
That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Let's uh, get the other bits up. Do you know what? That ain't half bad, folks. No, it's pretty good. I'm going to put some more dirt down. Let's really fill that bag up. Let's fill it to the brim, shall we? La -de -da. Oh, it's snowing. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Whee! Well, you know, I've been reading about Christmas and Christmas trees and things, and well, apparently. Well, obviously, most people know nowadays, unfortunately, that Christmas has nothing to do with the birth of Christ and Christmas trees and decorations and, and a pagan thing, apparently. And um, if it wasn't, if I was on my own, I wouldn't bother with the tree, you know, wouldn't bother with it. But I'll be all doing the Christmassy things, won't I, on my channel. Not the Advent videos, of course, but... Right, come on, we're just having a bit of fun today. I'm just having a chat. Let's get, get this all picked up, but we'll do it from a different angle. pushing my luck. I think I've reached maximum, ooh, I have maximum capacity of the dust bag. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad, is it? Let's release the bag. There we are. Well, I was enjoying that. I, I don't normally do that sort of... Gratu I can't get the words out. Gratu Gratu can't do it. I've got brain... Whatever it is. Freeze. Anyway, there is a faithful bag. It's a shame to waste that. What did you, see? you see what I should have done, folks? I should have used that bag that's uh, wherever it's gone. It had the clip on it, but anyway, I don't mind. I've wasted a bag, but there we go. Anyway, yeah, pretty pleased with this. Not bad at all, not too shabby. Pretty good condition, motor sounds fantastic. And with a bit of a spit and a polish, this will look almost new. So, it's one of my oddballs. It's like, in my collection, I obviously have certain numbers of certain makes. Obviously, the biggest being Hoover. Then possibly Electrolux and Sibo and Miele. They're probably, and Shark, they're probably the brands I have got the most of. And then there's odds and ends, like this particular one. And I think if I was ever to start selling my collection, oops, done it again. If I were ever to start selling my collection, I think it's the odds and ends that would go first. Because, from experience, once you start breaking up a collection of anything, it gets a bit addictive. So if I was to break up my collection of Mealers, for example, I'd think, no, oh, well I might as well get rid of some more Mealers then. But, um, yeah, there's certain vacuums I don't think I'd ever get rid of again. But, you know, I bought this, it was, as I said, it was 14 99 plus postage, and I thought it might be interesting for folk to look at. It's quite interesting for me, but it's not doesn't hold any sentimental value like some of the vacuums. No 
no memories from my childhood. The only memory I have of this brand is just seeing it in Argos catalogues and never buying. Right, I'll finish off, pick the rest of this up, leave a nice clean carpet. And uh, as I say, I'll certainly be back Friday, but um, possibly not um, Monday and Wednesday. I don't know. It depends how much I get done. Um, there's, I've got a lot to do in my personal life because I do have a life outside vacuum cleaners. I know it's surprising, but I guess I do. Okay, let's pick this up. <laughs> the end of the video. Before I go, I'd like to introduce you to two lovely ladies who I probably won't see for a while. And although they've been a bit of a nuisance, especially this butter wouldn't melt. This is called Willow. She is a, a cutie. Absolutely gorgeous little thing. But she has, I must get the decibel meter out, she has got the loudest yap and she's given me several near heart attacks. It can be lovely and quiet and then all of a sudden mm, she barks, don't you? All right, they're lying on their back now wanting their bellies. These belong to friends. I think got the Daxi bug when they saw R2. This one here she featured in uh, Wednesday's Morphe Richards demo. This is Lottie. She is related, well she's actually Daisy's full sister, from the same litter. But you wouldn't know it because uh, Daisy completely ignores them. She's, Daisy's got the hump. But uh, these two are going tomorrow so I thought I will actually miss them. But they settled in straight away within five minutes of their owners going. They were playing and oh, they're lovely, lovely dogs. So, it's goodbye from me. Not forever, but uh, as I said, you might not have a new video until next Friday. Just, just for a few weeks, while I sort things out. But I will see. I might be able to get you two a week. But uh, I do, you know, some, some uh, channels do have little breaks, little holidays. I didn't realise you could do that. There's a certain channel I watch every Sunday evening. And they went, for, they had a break. They had an end of season. So they have seasons like a TV program would. So this is the end of my season. No, it's not quite, because I'm not going away forever. I'm just going to reduce my output for a little bit. Aren't I? Right, you've seen enough cute dogs. Hope you've enjoyed watching the dynamics. But as I said, once I've sorted things out, there certainly will be a lot more demonstration videos on my channel. I can't really demonstrate in the house the way it is at the moment. So it'll be, it'll be more demonstrations, less unboxings. So I hope you'll enjoy those. And I'll see you soon. Any comments, please ask below. Thumb up. And don't forget, subscribe. See you all very soon. Bye for now.